Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. We have got the Autumn Winter Catalogue launching very, very, very soon on 4th of September. Very excited about that. So I thought I would at long last show you some bits. Now, if you can't wait till 4th of September, join now, join my team, and you will be able to order um, Christmas stuff, but you're also going to get £155 worth of stuff for £99 plus free shipping. Um, which is 207 euros worth of stuff for 129. You'll also get an eight pound voucher in September, 10 euros that you can spend on anything. And so I'm showing you the Toile Tidings um, DSP and the Wrapped in Played uh, stamp set, which has got a matching punch. Now, I have to say I am British and I'm Southern British, English, and I, for some reason, say played, not plaid, which is weird because it's almost spelt like plat. But anyway, <laughs> and it's also toile, not toil, but that's because it's French and I do know that. So it's <laughs> so toile tidings wrapped in plaid. Why not? Anyway, <laughs> I used real red on this one, but I'm going to use very vanilla. And I've got the very vanilla thick cardstock and you can make two from one sheet of cardstock. So four by 11 inches, 10 by 28 centimetres on the long side. Score it at... One, five, six, and ten inches, which is two and a half, twelve and a half, fifteen and twenty-five. And then you turn it round and score it at one and three inches, which is two and a half and seven and a half. I did ask in the team recently, who says played and who says plaid? And it wasn't quite a 50-50 split, and I'm not going to say which direction it went in, but it did tickle me. It really amused me. So, like I say, this is thick. Um, did I say Whisper White? It's not. It's very vanilla. Thick, very vanilla cardstock. Much better for boxes than our regular very vanilla. Um... So that's the box. I'm going to pop the DSP on now. Um, I am going to stick with the, the real red rather than the garden green, but it's exactly the same pattern on both sides. They measure one and three quarters by three and three quarter inches, which is four and a half by nine and a half centimeters. And you can see where they're going to go just on the front panels. Finished dimensions of the box, one by two by four inches, which is two and a half by five by 10 centimeters. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on the bottom and I've got a little smut on there. I don't know where that came from. So I'm making this the bottom. So I need to get rid of the right hand corner piece. And then these ones, I'm gonna cut straight up the rectangle and wedge into the square. And that one. And that one as well. So I'm going to do that. And then at the top, I'm going to do exactly the same because it's all going to fold in on itself. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to start on the right hand side only because it's easier for holding. worked with very vanilla or whisper white cardstock for quite some time so I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Right, so I've got my tear and tape. Where's the end gone? There it is. So like I said, yeah, you can get two from a sheet of cardstock. Always good when that happens. Peel off the backing. So I went on the side part. Oh, I've got any trim. My apologies, you need to trim a bit off the one that's going to be your side panel. Completely forgot that bit. Fold that in. So I fold the two sides and the back. And I'm 
there we go and so all you need to do now is fold that so it's not a permanent close we're going to close it with the ribbon and this is real red cotton ribbon and I'm going to do a square knot on this I think this is going to look rather lovely being a different colour a pale colour Like I said, I don't make boxes hugely often in Whisper White or Very Vanilla. So it's nice to see a different one. Mmm, right. Let's get a bit more Very Vanilla and do some stamping. That's not long enough. So, there's a nice long piece. So I've got the wrapped in... Uh, no, it's perfectly played. So, uh, which one should I go for? I think I'll go with the same three I went with before, which is the played one. The outer leafy one and the inner leafy one and then I'm going to go ho 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 on this one I think and grab some blocks I'm just going to stick them all on blocks for speed purposes more than anything I have multiple blocks in case you hadn't noticed So I want real red and garden green, both regals. Do a real red here at the bottom first. And a big pair of scissors. And oh, I'm eyeballing. Look at that, so brave. And I'm going to get my corn around it. Oh, I don't know if it's just dropped something else off then. I'm not sure it's quite wide enough. Oh yes it is, that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Do you know what, we're gonna go square on this one. <laughs> that's a little bit wider than this one, just enough for it to round the corners, but not to worry. Right, and let's go for some nice garden green trees. So I have one there. And this stamp set hurrah, comes with a matching punch. And we have had a tree in the past, but our lot, the last time we had a tree didn't have the um, it didn't have the the quite the same shape. It also didn't have the tree trunk. You had to put that on separately. So. Alrighty, let's put this box together. So my centre one, I'm going to have that directly onto the box. It's sticking out there. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of these. There and there. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of that. Make it stick out even more. Ho, ho, ho. How cute is that? They're lovely. Have you seen a little red thumbprint? <laughs> Oops. But I think they're really cute. I like it in the very vanilla. What do you think? Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.